Jacob is going to make his way back in chapter 32 of Genesis to Cana, and he's going to face his brother, the brother that he stole the blessing from, the brother that he fears. Listen to this verse of chapter 32, verse 1. So Jacob went on his way, and the angel of God met him. So Jacob continues his journey back to Canaan, and he's met by this mysterious angel of God. Jacob had to cross the path of where Esau had set up his city, his country, so to speak, Edom. Over the last 20 years while Jacob was away, Esau set up this country and Jacob feared what Esau would do to him and his family. So he sent his two wives, two concubines, and 11 sons over and stayed by himself. While he was there by himself, he was visited by someone. A man wrestled with him, eventually displacing his hip, his thigh. Then Jacob realized there, there was this was no ordinary man knowing that this was going to be a losing battle, Jacob wouldn't let go. He realized it was an angel of the Lord, some say even a appearance of Jesus. He demanded that he bless him. And not only did he bless Jacob, he changed his name from Jacob to Israel because now he becomes a totally different person. God had prevailed. He had won him over. And he was astonished that he had seen God face to face and that he even lived. He had more confidence now to face Esau. As Jacob makes his way back here in chapter 32, God does something amazing. He meets him, he blesses him, he changes him. And I think this is a powerful story. When we return what we feel like God calls us to do, go back to what we know we need to be doing, God meets us, he blesses us, and he changes us. This is a story you see all through scripture, how God, when we turn to him, he meets us, he blesses us, he changes us. This happens in his life, it can happen in our life.